Hello. So in the um, in the time since the last uh, post, I've been trying to improve the look of the sun and the moon. And in this, um, I've found some post-processing effects, which are very handy, that Unity does um, out of the box for the universal render pipeline. And uh, I'll show you them. So the first one is a lens flare. So you can see here the um, this, as you approach the sun, you get the standard your standard lens flare effect there. Um, just three three little um, hexagons. Um, so that's straightforward. The way you do that is you take your light source. In in this case, the the sun object is my light source. Um, it doesn't even um, need to be on. Um, I've got two suns. I've got the sun that the camera sees, which is kind of rendered in the environment, and the environment is attached to to track the position of this one. That's why this is actually off. And then I have sunlight, which actually lights up the landscape and everything, and all and everything um, with the appropriate intensity based on how high it is in the sky and and so forth. So I've attached to the sun object a um, lens flare component and that has my lens flare data in it and if I go find that it will be in here somewhere. So I've got sun lens flare you can add in a number of a number of different effects. I've got three hexagons, all the same, um, and you can you can set um, things like their intensity. It, it doesn't need to be a hexagon; it could be you know a shape or a, an image, and um, various various stuff in there. So I've played around with those to get them in to a point that I like. Um, and um, it's it's a fairly simple version. The other thing there you can see as I approach the sun, you can see that the screen, the colors in the screen are getting darker. The screen's getting darker. It's also getting slightly, the contrast is being washed out a bit and the, um, the sun is actually increasing in size and intensity. Um, so that's, this, the increased intensity of the sun as you look at it is a script that I'm running. That's my my own script. Um, but there's the, the other things are post-processing effects. So, for example, as I look at the sun, you might see, if you look very carefully, at the end of the microphone, um, in the center there underneath the sun, you can see a very faint hexagon, the, the smudges of the screen. That's, that's what's called camera uh, lens dirt. And I have a texture being applied with a transparency that shows up um, for when you when you're near the sun. It is part of the bloom effect, built-in effect in the in the URP. The other thing you can see, um, you might be able to see, um, well, is is that there's the the big increase in size, and you can see the halo that's being generated, um, particularly on the overlaying the, the kind of terrain there it's easy to see so it's all part of the bloom um, built-in control um, so I'll just stick, stick that on pause um, so the bloom and those post processes you put on the camera so if I go to the camera which is attached to our player then um, there's my script the Sun camera glare script. So what happens in here is in the update method and I've I'm checking to to make sure these things are done during the daytime um and not not at night. So it's no sun glare effects at night time. Otherwise it's the effect is applied in these two uh, if if else. Um, basically, I get the sunshine direction, I get the camera direction, and work out the angle between the two, um, or 180 minus that angle, to to deduce how far off 
we are well if if we were looking at the sun we would have a, a deviation of zero um, so it's to see so that number increases as you're deviating away from looking directly at the sun so if you're uh, deviation is less than a certain amount, then we we considered I consider it that we're beginning to look directly at the sun, and the um, intensity of the light is then th there's a number of effects that are then proportional to how close you are uh, to looking directly at the sun. So firstly, I increase the intensity of the sun, it makes it glow hotter. Um, that's a quadratic, so when you, so it, it ramps up fairly steeply as a, as a quadratic um, then the these are post-processing um, built-in post-process um, options so contrast saturation post exposure are being set according to the, the 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 angle or the deviation from how close you are to looking at the sun by a, a linear multiplier and then when you're not looking, when you're not in the angle that's considered to be close to the sun, then it's all set back to default values. So it's a simple script um, that's running there. And then the here you can see the color adjustments, contrast, saturation, post-exposure. Um, and my script is then multiplying them with the values. I've, I've messed around to find values that I like the effect, the, the final effect. Um, so that's that, and the um, the bloom, um, which you, is 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 on the I showed you the dirt texture. That's just a texture I downloaded from the internet, and I've got some um, the the numbers here I've just played around with to get a fairly subtle effect. I didn't I found that initially when I had everything in at, at default intensities and everything it, it was kind of fun it was like a new toy but it was actually distracting um because you found that the the dirt on the the dirt effect kind of showed up too much to the point it was distracting um as a when you're playing the game and you kind of want to rub the lens to get rid of the dirt so it was just too much so i've paired it back to be more subtle and then at night time as the sun goes down um the things um the effects disappear as you can see that that disappearance was too sudden so i need to change the threshold there to be when the sun is a little bit lower um so it doesn't just pop like like it did like we saw but that's that, that that's basically it so i think that would do for this this post and then next post i'll talk about the crescent moon that we can see and how i achieved that